Hey everybody, welcome to another recap of Survivor, Heroes vs. Villains. Last week, Stephanie went home. So, at the Heroes Tribe, Tom is pretty much disgusted at James' behavior last week, and yeah, he realizes that JT be betrayed him. And Colby and Tom are sitting around like a bunch of gods in, you know, Hero Town. It was all... <sighs> Alright, so at the Villains Tribe... Parvati is snuggling up to Russell, and it's pretty obvious to everyone, especially Boston Rob. And I love, I gotta say, I love the Boston Rob uh, commentaries this season, and I did love them in uh, his seasons in the past, too, where he'd be like, I'm the puppet master. <laughs> Alright, so, at the Heroes Tribe, the chickens get loose, and it's just the crisis they need to pull together and win some challenges. So, at the Villains Tribe, though, Coach and Boston Rob pull Russell aside and are like, uh, yo, you better be watching out for Parvati. She's all teeth and ass. Just watch out. I wish I could be there for the Coach bedtime stories, because they really look pretty awesome when everybody's just sitting around looking at the stars and Coach is spinning a yarn. It's so good. All right, so, Russell stirs the pot. He's pulling his old tricks from last season where he uh, starts hiding stuff and he ends up hiding the machete and he was musing about hiding Boston Rob's hat or destroying it. So Randy caught a clam and he couldn't open it up because he couldn't find the machete. But guess what? Parvati doesn't like raw clam and they wasted it on her. Blech. So at the Heroes Tribe, JT is doing a little pot stirring of his own. He was talking to Candace, and then he went and talked to Sari and made up this, uh, oh, Candace doesn't like you, to Sari. So that really stirred everything up. But it's time for the immunity challenge. And it's a sumo mud wrestling challenge, another one of those brutally physical ones. You gotta keep your hands on the bag, and you can't use your legs as weapons. You gotta uh, push your opponent off of the platform. The first tribe to score eight wins. So it's not only immunity challenge, it is also a reward challenge. Uh, you get to get your tribe's items from home. You get a week's worth of rice and coffee and sugar. Pretty decent uh, reward, I would say. So for the villains tribe, since it's uh, 10 to 8, they get to sit out Courtney and Sandra. So I'm going to uh, make a long story short. The heroes basically kick the villains' asses, and like, not just kick their asses, like, kick their asses, sent them home with their asses in their hands. It was really, really bad. I mean, it was a blood fest. Um, the last matchup was James and Randy, and James was particularly hard on Randy. So, 8 nothing. the heroes win. It was so emasculating, even the women were emasculated. So Randy is sending a message to the tribe that Parvati is a sneaky little bitch. And Coach is all like, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not going to fall for the Parvati teeth and ass and elbows and hair and giggle and wiggle. So Coach even gives us a Martin Luther King quote speech. And I'm thinking, thank God they got it figured out. Parvati needs to go. But... Parvati's all like, <laughs> Randy's weak. He needs to go. <laughs> so it's tribal council treehouse time. And it's the first time for the villains because this is the first immunity challenge that they've lost. I might say, excellent feather earring coach. Very nice accessory. So everyone in the tribe is pretty much leery of Parvati. Because they know that she knows people on the other tribe. So when it's time for the merge, that could be a little bit dangerous. And Coach is a little pissed that Sandra mentioned him in her commentary to Jeff. He's like, why was I the only name that you uh, singled out? So he's feeling a little guilty, I'm thinking. And the machete is missing. And nobody knows where it is. Russell. So, Rob uh, explains that this tribe is good in the challenges. Well, apparently not that good because they got blanked in the uh, last challenge. But at camp, 
they pretty much suck because nobody wants to do any work and they really need to get their s under control <laughs> so it's time for the vote uh yeah randy is voted off by at least six votes and actually i think it was nine he got so pissed that he threw his uh, buff into the fire. And you know what? I probably would have too because are you guys for real? That was totally ridiculous, that vote. You really needed to get rid of Parvati. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come back in the end to bite you. So next week, Coach has a little mental breakdown. Yeah, it's time. And it's a hidden immunity free-for-all at the Heroes Tribe. Let's see the fangs come out then. And next week, could it be Russell's time to go? I hope so. Till next week, much love.